First ever pixel ace for the vlog. Yes! Yeah! Turn the camera around. He witnessed the greatest shot in the history. I witnessed it. I'm so happy. Go! Look at these jokesters. <laughs> Hello. Hope you enjoy your off season here. Welcome back to the vlog. James Conrad Thanks. in the house, world yeah, champion. Yeah, stoked to be here. And then we have a special guest, first time on the vlog. What's Brian up? Earhart, you know him from the Disc Golf Network. You know him as a commentator. And if you've been around for a bit longer, you know him as a pro player. A little bit. I'm excited to show you how you can throw because it's pretty nice. We're Super here at nice. Rinsky. Renaissance Park, the short, fun pitch and putt course. Oh yeah, we got some comets. We're gonna throw some comets out there. When did you say this one was from? 1990 something? 97, I think. This is so my cool. favorite one right now. Okay, let's do it. I'm excited. It looks like about 350 maybe. Maybe a bit less. Flip, baby. Flip all the way. Brian Earhart is a lefty. And I don't think we really have a plan today except for throwing some shots in the beautiful fall weather here in North Carolina. Totally. It's like 70 degrees out already. It's beautiful. It's way better than Chicago. I'm just I'm gonna try out this sweet envy. I don't think I've actually thrown this one much, so. He looks like you. That's me. <laughs> no problem. A little Good low. Driver. Good power. <laughs> this like X step off the two pad. You got a big skip though. You didn't even watch it. I think it's you're at the circle one. those trees to not go short. My first zoom was not a success, <laughs> but now the second zoom will be phenomenal. James for birdie on one. It's yeah. classic. Good job. Um, it is so nice to be here. I'm here for Yuli's wedding actually. Maybe I can get a little behind the scenes sneak peek of the wedding tonight. And here's my putt for all. James pretty. or you? Oh, Simon. Have you felt the pixels yet? I haven't. That's oh. your new putter? Yeah. Sweet. Ooh, come on. Easy yeah, birdie. One under. Alright, hole two is a bit tough to film. Kind of over these trees. And then over to the right there. That's a pretty good shot. Good spot, Oh God, oh God. There you go, on the board. Brian, I have a hard hitting question for you. Yeah. You have one word to answer. Who's player of the year? One word. Isaac. Save the par. Mmm, nice. Who's player of the year? In my mind it's Calvin. He just played so amazing all year. Um, he didn't get the big wins, but I feel like the consistency throughout the year, in my mind, makes him the player of the year. I agree. That's a sick fireball. Darts board? Use the zoom, James. Okay. Use the zoom. I'll zoom. Actually. I'm gonna tell the vlog the first time I ever played with Brian. I was like, I don't know who this guy is. I think we were on like the one of the top cards, like first or second yeah. card or something. And Brian literally threw every tee shot, standstill, lefty, like flippy stuff. And I was like, this guy's awesome. He's like, just standstill, just pew. He couldn't have been more opposite for me. I'm taking a 30 foot round, <laughs> gripping right handed backhands. And Brian's over there throwing standstill lefty forehand with like flippy stuff on every hole. It was, it was super cool. That was Discraft Tracker. That was an instant. Fan. Let's see if I still got it. Let's see if I still got it. Oh, just do that all day. That's literally all I did. Well, I did right for north. like my first couple seasons touring, and then I realized <laughs> that the tour courses don't want that <laughs> at all. <laughs> James told me, by the way, that for the vlog, he's breaking his. No throw November. <laughs> yeah, I think my last round was 
probably at the Pro Tour Championships, but um, that was a couple weeks ago now. Yeah, no throw November is a pretty good rule, but Oop. not for the vlog. Not for the vlog. Ryan for a big long miss. Yeah. This is called the battle putt. Yeah. Oh, tie game. I get the extra point for speed though. Filming from the corner. Oh, hit the tree. Sit. Pretty good, James. Like 10 feet deep. Simon, it feels like this course should be the next stop of the Tour Championship. I love this place. Hole six. We're heating up. We're finally finding our form, I think. Oh. We're not. We're not. <laughs> not yet. Oh my god. What a sick skip. Oh. So oh. Close. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice one. Matrix. James, what what's your least favorite thing about being a pro disc golfer? Ooh. I feel like Sometimes it's the long drives, sometimes like getting out to California and stuff. We were just talking about it that might might be flying to the West Coast this year because we're not out there very long and just driving like 24 hours for a one tournament or something. It's not too fun. Yeah, I haven't done driving for five years, so. <laughs> but I'm telling you, flying also, not the greatest. No, airports kind of suck and then you gotta yeah. like, figure out all the stuff you're bringing and fit it into the bag. I always and... wondered when people like, you know, fly private and it's like so expensive, it's like insanely expensive, like $20,000 per flight or something insane. It's like, I was like, how is that worth it? Like you can do so much better things with $20,000 and just go on a freaking commercial flight. Like what's, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. But I kind of get it now. Do they get to like skip the whole Not that I'll ever fly private. Yeah, I don't no. think this couple will ever get to the private <laughs> category, but. The private jet. Man standing in line in airports sucks. And then you get to, you get there two hours early, and then you, the flight gets delayed, and all of a sudden you're there for like eight hours, and you're like, that, I could have driven there by now. This reminds me of a really funny Louis C.K. joke where he says, <laughs> everyone complains about traveling when they're flying, but you're freaking <laughs> flying. <laughs> <laughs> you're in a chair in the sky. Like, shut up. <laughs> Come on. You did it. Oh! oh. Oh, Simon, 20, 25 feet. Pixel. Wow. He's unstoppable. Have you felt the pixel yet? I don't think I've felt it yet. Probably a bit deep for you. Feels good. They gave me my best putting performance of the year at UCGC. Wow, cool. First time putting with them. They beat us? It's, it feels like the tiniest little bead, maybe? Yeah, it's kind of because of the overmold. They kind of have kind to of with the putters. It's, yeah. It's, it kind of has like more shoulder. It feels nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like I could putt with this. I feel like it's... Say something nice. It's it, definitely it, it feels little, great. <laughs> feels great. Do you have deep, something new to show me? This is a little deeper than the Nomad, but it feels not, not way, way different. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I have something new to show you. This is the newest disc in the James Conrad line. This is a Detour. Ooh. It's, for me, I've, I've won Hex in the bag that I've bagged for like close to two years now. And this brand new flies kind of like that really beat up Hex. So it, out of the box. It's, so this is like between Hex and Uplink. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the slot we were shooting for. And mm. I'm, I'm stoked. I feel like we nailed it. I can like, it can handle some power, but it can also get pretty like nice, nice gentle turns. I'll try to do a smooth little turn over here with it. Okay. This hole's not far, just a warning. Count it! Count it! <laughs> this is uh, another blind shot. We definitely have ace runs here, but ah. the basket's not visible yet. Yikes! Uh, just another birdie. Okay. Wah, wah. This is for the first oh. make. Oh my god! Consistency is key. I'm gonna try Simon's Matrix. This is from the OTB Open. Yeah. I don't think I've ever thrown a Matrix before, so maybe. Yeah, give it maybe slight turn, but not too much. 
It's also pretty new because I just lost my other one. Ooh. Nice shot. Yeah, that's a good one. And he loves it. And I am going to give the detour. My first ever throw with the detour. Oh, it didn't flip. I guess my hex is so understable now that I kind of expected it to do that. Not really quick. Throwing the comet. Because he's the comet guy. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. That's, That's so good. Come on. Oh. Ooh, nearly dunks it. That's not gonna work, James. That's why I'm not Are you did touring for how long as a pro player? Pro player was four years, 2018 through 2021. And now you've been media guy for two years? Yeah, full-time media for two years. And what feels more like a real job? Oh, for sure, media feels like a real job. I, I also think I probably should have treated disc golf like as a player more like a job, but I think I was just thrilled to be free from like a corporate setting. So uh, I'm actually happy to have this job feel more like a job, for sure. What was easier? This. It, it feels more like a job, but it's easier. Being a player is so stressful. You never know if you're doing enough. You never know if you're practicing enough or eating well enough or putting enough. And then you play and you know you have a week where you practice a bunch and then you play terrible and then you have a week where you don't practice at all and you play great it just doesn't make any sense and now i have more fun but i also work harder um i'm yeah i'm thrilled to be doing what i'm doing now for sure well there you go are you continuing next year oh yeah forever forever and, until they fire me yeah i'm full time with the network and uh they're letting me do more producing and podcasts and interviews and it's great it's a banger with a bunch of dog chew marks in it. Okay, Perfect. now it's been Signed by an eight-year-old. His name is Carson. <laughs> Flip. It is. Oh, it did too, ah, much. too much. It's so nice. I like the power. Pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the right disc, James. This oh, is the no. right disc. Oh, just a little high. I think you have what? to go mid. I think you have to go low bullet. Come on, first try. Oh. Forehand specialist. Flip. Ooh. That's a putt. Oh, detour. Perfect for this. This is the detour. It is the perfect detour shot. What a line. What? It's so straight. That was the straightest shot I've ever seen. Straight into the tree. When is that available? I think the first detours are shipping out in the Gyropalooza boxes. So hopefully you guys got some of those on the way. Um, the box is looking sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah, those are available like in January? I think so. I'm, yeah. I'm not real sure. Something. Something's coming. I know that. I'll they're... promote it when I know. Yes. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, Just uh, uh, uh. This Why? yellow envy. The blessed envy. Oh, it's blessed for sure. Magnificent. How's that miss? This is for you, James. Hopefully. Yes, please. You mean this is for my, my subscribers? Off a tree. Here. Oh, dang it. <laughs> so Baby. Oh, I thought you almost got that kiss. The perfect little kiss. First ever pixel ace for the vlog. Yes. Yeah! Turn the camera around. He witnessed the greatest shot in the history. I witnessed it. I'm so happy. Go. Twice or That was luck. sick. Twice or his luck. You got two pixels for a reason, Simon. Twice or his luck. Ah! Get lucky. Kick left. Kick left. It did? Yeah, listen. That's a good luck. disc. Stack them up. Yes. 
Oh my God. Oh! That was so perfect. <laughs> Simon is crazy. The pixel is like so straight. Yeah. It, it... Get yours next year. <laughs> That's a flippy boy. That is a flippy boy. Rinsky. This is the perfect lefty hole. Skip. Big skip. Yeah. Not bad for yeah. the old man. This is the pixel Simon just aced with, so I'm gonna see if I can ace with it too. Yeah. It's like pretty straight based on how you threw it. Yeah, tiny little uh, left to right fader, but uh, I throw it pretty straight. Here we go. That, that line, was, line, was, that line sweet. was perfect. Just a little too high. That's so good. Come on. Oh, it dropped. Too perfect. We got 315, a little uphill. I'm going to give the detour some power. I'll have to hit it with a bit of hyzer, but I think I could ace with it. I would be not surprised, but impressed. A little breeze going here. Slight left to right breeze. Oh, that's money. Going with the detour. Still got some stability at the end. Yeah, Threw it a bit high. Good shot though. Come over, come over up, here. But got a lightweight, got a bare heart, Nuco S. You can get these on the Ledgestone website. Oh. If you want. Shout out. My vlog is all about shout outs. I'm gonna go big stall guy. I mean, I don't even know if they still have them, but they might. Oh, you're going over the trees? I am. Cool. It's called the Simon Line. Did he do it? Oh! Wow! Dang. What a shot! Dang. Brian's a bomber. Still got it. Still got Step it. Over those. <laughs> very, very. Not bad. Twice hearts luck for James Conrad. Whoa! Oh, be the one. He's a one. Oh, let's see if the lefty can follow suit. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's a little inside. That's a highlight putt though. Go baby. Five feet left of the basket. And they're at Goodwill for $25. Sick. Oh, come on. Oh, just under the basket. I just realized that uh, we started playing disc golf and then on the back nine, we just started doing ace runs. It wasn't planned. It just happens that way sometimes. You just get excited and then the holes start just lining up. It's not like we were really killing it on the front nine. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm really worried about like maintaining my like three down going into the back nine. It's hard to like feel that motivation to keep playing for score or anything. I don't know. It's more fun just to throw for aces. Okay, we have one hole left. Hole 18, 215, straight forward. Do you see an ace in our future? I see an ace. It's inevitable. This is the inevitable ace. Oh, that was an inevitable layup. <laughs> oh my golly. I think I hit a little branch that just like killed it at the end. No reason to not do this. Mm. Oh. Gave it a chance. That was pathetic. Yeah, you know, sometimes with aces and trick shots, like I've, that's been my life for a lot of years and sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like we just emptied our bag on this 200 foot hole, nothing in the way. And, uh, <laughs> We hit more trees than were in the way. It was pretty sad, but that's part of my job, which is just lovely. And I got to have you guys on the vlog today. James came out of the retirement today. And I got an ace on 13, which was a little highlight. But other than that, we're gonna wrap this up. Simon got to make an ace. I got to miss a whole bunch of ace tries. <laughs> yeah. Brian also got to miss a bunch. I, I missed a lot. It felt good. But Feels good to throw the disc in no throw November. Yeah, thanks guys for joining. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and enjoy the shot of the day.
because we needed it after Holly Teen's performance. <laughs> All right, peace. Later. <laughs>